So here we're going to use stereo phase cancellation to isolate a vocal, turning this you were always the curious one. into this. You were always the curious one. So here we're going to use two different parts of the same track to cancel each other out with phase cancellation to isolate the vocal. Now the house track here is perfect again as it's got eight bars of instrumental before eight bars of a very similar sounding track with the vocal included. I'll just play those parts. We're always the curious one. So we're going to sum together this part here and the second part here which includes the vocal and hopefully that will bring out just the vocal on its own. So we need two copies of the track, so let's load another one up. And then we need to chop those sections out. Just soloing each track so we can hear it. We want the instrumental starting on the downbeat here and the vocal starting on the downbeat too. Now they're kind of roughly in the right place but we need to zoom in and uh, pinpoint the exact location of the downbeats and transients so that we can line them up together. This is quite difficult as the tracks are so busy uh, but let's have a look. That's about right for the first one. So they're kind of okay here. Let's move in a bit closer and see what we can do. Uh, we can already see that they're slightly misaligned here. So um, let's just sort that out. Okay, the closer you get to, uh, to lining them up properly, the more phasey they will sound. So that's probably as best we can do for the minute. We need to invert the left and right channel phase of one of the tracks so we'll choose the second one here and insert a plugin. In uh, Logic it's the gain utility and we phase invert right and left. Not quite lined up still, let's zoom in a bit more. Let's see, they're starting to sound more phasey now. Um, the closer we get, the more phasey they will become. We do have them lined up, but they're the transients are lined up, but it's not the right transient. Let's see if we can find the downbeats. That one's not very easy to find. Uh, this one might be better. Nice and clear. Uh, there we go. Can see the problem. So we're lining up 
up uh, the transient sort of here, here. You can see they're the same. They hit the peak about there together. Try that. You were always fish. You were always fish. Turn the loop off. You were always the curious one. Uh, it's very close. It's cutting out a lot of the bass frequencies, but not quite the top end. So we haven't quite lined them up perfectly yet. As you can see, this does take a little while. Um, you've got to be absolutely perfect for it to work effectively. Of broken ah, there we go. That's good. So it sounds like a completely isolated vocal, but it's just because everything else has been summed away with the phase inversion. You were always the curious one. Consisting of broken angles. I cannot make you whole, but... That's pretty good. The only thing that's different uh, between these two tracks is obviously the vocals, but also there's a kind of effects riser that we can hear in the background. Um, we'll try and temper this just a little bit. We'll add an EQ plugin on there, a low cut filter. And we'll set that to about uh, 430 hertz. Let's have a listen. You were always the curious one. Consisting of broken angles. I cannot make you whole, but if you want, I'll be your angel.